Today's video is all about storing, collaborating and sharing your work with the world out there. Open in front of me is the Open Science Framework website and I'll leave a link to this website in the description box below this video. Now let's see what OSF is all about. It's a free open platform to support your research and enable collaboration. And that's exactly what it does. So you can search and discover research and projects out there. And of course, you're going to upload your own projects onto this platform, which means other people will be able to find your projects and to find you as a collaborator. And maybe you can share interests and strengths in these projects. Um, design your study, start a project and add collaborators, giving them access to protocols and other research materials. Then there's built-in version control, which is quite nice. And you can choose if you want to make your project public or private. So it's up to you if you want to make it discoverable to the world out there, or if you prefer to work with your own collaborators and only make it maybe public at a later stage, or maybe never make it public. Or you can also make only certain portions of the project public so that some of it is discoverable and some of it's only left for you to, to access with your collaborators. Uh, collect and analyze your data so there's a space to store data, code and other materials. Um, you can connect to Dropbox and other third-party accounts and every file gets a unique persistence URL for citing and sharing and that's quite a, a, a benefit. And then you can publish your preprints so this is a lovely space to find preprints, I mean, be on top of the latest research before it even goes to the publisher and also to share your own preprints. Now let's have a look at the search function. So you can search for a discipline or an author and let's see which projects we find when we search for the sport cricket. Let's see what we can find here. Now look at this one. So this is a project on analytics of batting. And here you can see that there's already a paper uploaded, the data's uploaded, and the best is that you can cite this project using the citing information. So if you use any of the information in this project in your own research, you'll be able to cite it. And remember, this is now somebody else's project, but other people will be able to cite my projects as well. In their own research. What a great opportunity to find new collaborators and to, to share our research with the world out there. Now uh, let's have a look at this the other functions. There's OSF preprints and you can search for preprints and other people will be able to find your own preprints as well. A lovely interface. Look at this. And here you have the preprint and you'll have the citation information and a bit more information on the very front page. Look at this with your uh, URL. How lovely. And then you can also create a registry or access the registries of other people. There's OSF meetings. So if you've attended a conference and you would like to upload uh, your poster or talk onto OSF. There's an opportunity to do that. Let's choose one of these random ones. Let's do this one. And it's a poster. Uh, the poster has been uploaded here. And here you can see the citing information, which makes it so easy to cite this specific project or this specific poster from this Congress. So I hope this really sparks your interest. I think it's a great opportunity to get your, world, your work out there and also to learn from what other people are doing. If we share our, our work and our knowledge, um, we become stronger. So I really think that's the way to go. The Open Science Framework, go and play around with it and leave your experiences in the comment box below this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you share your research and how you find the, the interface and um, if there are other ways that you are using to collaborate and um, share your, your work with the world out there. Go and enjoy. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. 
For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.